I'm Dr. Ben Newman, and I'm a coronavirologist. Uh, this is Ask Dr. Ben, and I'll try and answer your questions. Yeah. Um, all right. The next question is from Jillian, and hello. Yeah, I know that name. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The question is, all right. Hi, Dr. Ben. I wanted to hear your thoughts on the current J&J &J vaccine pause. Okay, so this is one that I haven't got to for a little while, but the information will be more up to date now. Yeah, and I apologize for being so slow. Um, let's see. Uh, I think it's great that they stopped distribution to collect more data and I think look over the possible explanation, which I think is a pretty good one. It sure fits all the facts and it, it would definitely cause the things that we see to happen. The question is if that's the main cause or if that's like one of the causes and we're missing something else, I think, yeah. I, I suspect I suspect they've nailed it, but yeah, future future research always turns up interesting things. So I'll be interested to see. Um, let's see. I'm reading about a woman in Charlotte who went to the hospital two days after a Johnson and Johnson vaccine and passed away from a brain aneurysm. All right, fine. Um, yeah. So what we know about uh, AstraZeneca and Johnson and Johnson vaccines is that they sometimes cause thrombocytopenia which is when all of your platelets basically disappear because they have become activated and have started little blood clots in different places. There's a lot more steps to the process. Um, and platelets are kind of neat. Uh, they're little fragments of a great big cell. It just it's like the big mama cell breaks off these little tiny pieces. And so they're not really cells, but they're made of the same stuff as cells and they come from a cell. It's kind of like that gray area where you find viruses, where it's like, what do we call this thing? It's it doesn't fit these nice little categories uh, very well. And you just call them their own thing. They're platelets. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so that's what we know. So we know that occasionally in about one in a million people who get those vaccines, um, uh, they have seen that you get this blood clotting, this particular blood clotting disorder, not other blood clotting disorders, not other cardiovascular disorders or other heart problems or vein problems or artery problems. Yeah, just this one. Um, and so aneurysm is something that um, has not been reported uh, to be caused by this or any of the vaccines as far as I'm aware. Aneurysms are um, correlated, at least in some studies. Uh, uh, this is a thing that can happen after uh, COVID-19. It's a consequence of COVID-19. So this is a thing that would be prevented by the vaccine, not a thing that would be caused by the vaccine. Now, this is definitely not legal advice, and it sure isn't medical advice, so yeah, don't take it as either. But uh, I would think that um, this is just an unfortunate coincidence. Aneurysms happen uh, to a certain extent in people, and um, yeah, you don't always ever figure out why. Actually, most of the time you don't figure out why. An aneurysm is a uh, sort of, they call it a ballooning in an artery. So you have these nice sort of thick walled arteries and what you get is sort of thinning at one side, but then the arteries under a lot of pressure, the blood pressure is going through there. And so it sort of balloons out, expands and gets really thin and very fragile. And what can happen to those is that they can dissect, which is when they burst open like that. And if you get a dissection of a big artery uh, somewhere, like coming off the heart, like uh, an aorta, that would usually be uh, fatal and very quickly. There's not a lot that uh, could be done in that case. Um, if you get a dissection somewhere else, um, yeah, it would presumably be a better chance of surviving, but these aren't good things. And they tend to occur where the pressure is highest, which is going to be right around the heart. Um, yeah, so... I don't know, uh, or what, the force, like we're ejecting the blood right out. Uh, that's that's where I would think uh, you'd be under the greatest risk. So yeah, no, I think this is just a very unfortunate coincidence um, and a bad thing that's happened, um, but probably not related to the vaccine. Um, and so the rest of the question is saying that, well, so now other people are saying that this is a good reason why um, they might not want to get vaccinated and to that, I would say the vaccine prevents this from happening far more often. I, I don't think it ever causes this to happen, but it definitely does prevent this from happening. I think, as I've probably said before, when you've got people that aren't 
interested in getting vaccinated right now it's usually for other reasons and i think they tend to seize on particular news because it backs up the decision that they pretty much already made it's not a case where it's necessarily evaluating data so i don't know if you got somebody like that that you know um you can talk to them you can show them videos like this one and maybe it'll work i I don't know, <laughs> but uh, there isn't uh, an association, uh, as far as as far as I can tell from uh, what's published uh, out there. So that's all. Thanks very much. This has been Ask Dr. Ben.